Okay. I don't. Okay. I see where a levy is proposed. Okay. If, if, uh, um, if it is, it, it, are you able to stop that in any way? Are you were able to put a stay on that levy. If, if, no, I can't. So it, you need it, to it, talk with. Uh, you need to talk with collections about that. Okay. Now, but um, the case is under. You have one. 2000 and what is this? 2011 under examination. Yeah, I guess the levy must be for a different year. Well, yes, we have a, uh, a form letter here that says we have not received your federal income tax return. You need to file your return. Mm-hmm. And one of the questions I, I, I want to ask you regarding this, uh, are you able to confirm yes or no that there's evidence proving that the Constitution and the laws apply to Mr. D and that the IRS has any jurisdiction over him at all? The U.S. citizen? No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Just a yes or no question, ma'am. Uh, speak to me. Is I'm, it? I'm speaking to you. I'm oh. just asking you a question. Is no, he a citizen? I, well, I need you to just answer yes or no. C can you confirm that there's any actual evidence proving the Constitution and laws apply to Mister? I prefer not to answer that. Oh, let me write that down. I prefer. Okay, that'll be fine. Not to answer. That'll be fine. Mm-hmm. So you, you Could you hold for a moment, please? Could you hold for a moment, please? I hope you come back. I'm now. not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I just want you to hold for a moment, please, okay? I, don't, just, I would like to know why you can't answer that question, yes or no. Could you hold for a moment, please? Oh, you, you Thank gonna, you. Okay, they're going to run away. I thought that was a simple question. And the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the beauty of a simple question like that when they run and hide. Like, oh, I'm going to have to put you on hold. See, I didn't ask her an important, you know, a more difficult question. Like, explain to me the, the significance of the flatted fifth in, in, in traditional blues music. <laughs> flatted fifth, minor seven. Even, even minor third. But that minor that works seven. With minor seven, yeah. Uh, well, that makes it, that makes it a dominant. And, and the minor third actually rubs nice with the major third. There's a uh, 1959 concert from, 19, from Switzerland that Duke Ellington's band did. And it has, except for a rough part with some of the, the, the clarinets, uh, prop, one of the best recordings performances of Black and Tan Fantasy. Ray Nance was playing uh, trumpet, uh -huh. and he just absolutely kills on Black and Tan Fantasy. I mean, it was... I, I, had, to, I had to listen to his solo twice. It's on YouTube? Yeah. I've seen part of that show before, but I'd not seen the beginning of it where they played Black and Tan Fantasy. Well, he kind of does a medley with the mooch. And wow, Ray Nance was just it's on fire. I mean, it was it was awesome. I bet. Yeah, and that's, I bet. And I think I had sent you part of it near the end where Johnny Hodges did. It's basically Johnny Hodges with just the uh, drums and bass for most of it uh, doing all of me. It was just... Put 
on hold after we answer the simple question. Probably, uh, she probably said something effective. We've got a live one here. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Good morning. My name is Miss Reese. My ID number is one thousand two zero zero four one nine. How are you today? Well, I, if I could get a, a an answer to my question without being put on hold or transferred to another department, that would be awesome. Okay, and you're calling in reference. Yes, why did Miss Foster uh, pass the call off to you? I'm not sure. You're I'm not, not sure? sure, but what was your... She, Correct, she just, no. She what was your question, you sir? Said, I need you to take a call for me? Yes. Is that... Is that so that's not an unusual thing for someone, that, someone to just bail on a call and, and tell you that... Are you a supervisor, or... I mean, you just, yes, sir. Oh, oh. All right, the other supervisor. Okay, I asked Miss mm -hmm. uh, Foster a very simple question. Mm -hmm. I said I just wanted yes or no if she could confirm that there was evidence proving that the Constitution laws apply to Mr. D and that the IRS had any jurisdic jurisdiction over him at all. And well, to, go ahead. And she she uh, she asked me a question and I said no, I just mm -hmm. need a yes or no answer to my question and she bailed on us. She she uh, said she had to put us on hold. So, do you have an answer, okay. yes or no? I mean, a yes or no, is there evidence? I do. The answer, the answer is yes. I mean, your client uh, worked in 2011. Your client received money, so your client has to pay taxes on that income. I understand that's your opinion, but I uh, the question is, do you have any evidence to show the Constitution and laws, you know, the Constitution and the U.S. Code apply to Mr. D. So, you still... Sir, I didn't give you my opinion. I cannot give you my opinion. What I did was give you a fact, and what I can also do is I can give you the reference to which says that. So you're telling me that because my client earned money, that the, Consti mm -hmm. the Constitution applies to him? Um, there's a publication. Now, if you want to talk to someone as far as the Constitution, no. I can give you another number that you can no. call. You but just, as far as public, sir, ma sir, you, you just sir, said, you, let, sir. Me, let me finish. You just said yes, that you had evidence proving the Constitution and Code apply to Mr. D. I don't need to talk to anybody else. You're the one who said you had the okay. evidence. So, you're so telling let's, me let's that the, start this let conversation finish. over. We have to start over? Go okay. ahead. So, right. Yes, you sir? asked me a question. So yeah. my question, my answer to your question is, um, I'm not here to discuss what the Constitution say. However, if you want to discuss as far as why your client has to pay taxes on that income, I can refer you to Publication 17. No, 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 no. I, but my question to you, I'm not asking you what the Constitution actually says. I'm asking you mm -hmm. yes or no. Do you have any proof the Constitution and code apply to Mr. Are you here to call about the Constitution or to talk about the examination? I'm here to see if there's any evidence, yes or no, that the Constitution and code apply and that you... And your associate, your your, your uh, associates have any jurisdiction over Mr. Mm -hmm. Diaz? Now, what I can do is, like I stated, you're calling examination department. If you want to talk to someone as far as the Constitution, I can give you a number to call. Okay, so you can't confirm that there's evidence the Constitution and code apply to Mr. D. Uh, no. Okay, can't. Let me write that down. You can't confirm. So you can't mm -hmm. confirm. Correct. You can't confirm that there's any jurisdiction over him at all. Then. Are you talking about the Constitution or something else? I'm talking about the Constitution and the United States Code. Okay. This so you... is the examination department. Sir, if you're calling in reference to an examination, we can have a conversation. If you're calling for me to discuss with you about the Constitution, that is not part of my um, job description to go over the Constitution. Not, I'm asking so if there's any I have evidence one... that applies, and so you've already said that you can't confirm that there's evidence of jurisdiction. Okay, so, so we're, not, sir, so we're, we're not we're we're not going anywhere. Oh, and yes, we are. My question we, to you we is very well are. no. My question to you is: Do you want to discuss the Constitution, or do you want to discuss the examination? If you want to discuss the Constitution, like I stated, and my last time stating it. I can give you a number to call, or I will disconnect this call. So you if you want to discuss the examination, 
I'm not, so well, I'm not being you know, rude. Yes, you are. When you threaten, when you threaten to not answer a question of mine and address my issue, or you just hang up the phone. That's pretty rude. So you have the option of doing okay. that because you just you just take things by force. You, you, you know, we're the government. We don't need permission. You know, because we're the government. Uh, you, I think, sir, this is my fourth something. time stating this, and I explained to you if you wanted to talk about the Constitution, um, I can give you a number or end the call. Or I can talk to you about the examination. Well, because you keep asking questions about the Constitution, sir, I am going to end this call, and I'm no, going no, to help no, no, the no. next taxpayer who's calling about an examination. No, really. Thank you, sir. No, don't hang have up the phone. Day. I need a call, supervisor. Don't hang up. Can I at least have your supervisor call back? Son of a... All right, we got what we needed. We got what we needed. We're, we're going to have to uh, follow up on a fax to them, though. And you, and she first said yes. Well, and she she backpedaled. She she corrected yes. that. 